Okay, everything, we're going to dive straight into some first-person narratives of spooky, bizarre encounters and near-death experiences. Number 10. Man in Window My tale I lived in an apartment with my ex-girlfriend, another couple, and a large window that led to a fire escape and alleyway. Our room was a walk-in closet. One morning, my girlfriend woke up screaming. It was around 8 o'clock am while looking over, I noticed her staring out the window in the living room. The sounds of screaming indicated break-in, prompting her to flee back into the hallway to seek help from her roommates. After getting out of bed, I opened the door and saw a man crawling through the window. I took a deep breath and yelled at him to leave, but he backed off and left through the window. Number 9. Cletus Right, so this next story comes to us from Nostalgic Winter 98, who grew up in upstate New York, which was much more rural in the 90s when this story takes place. So about a week before this incident, his mom had heard about a wave of kidnappings. He and his mom came up with a code word if anyone ever tried to convince him that they knew his mom or dad in the hopes to get him in their car. The code word was pickles. He was walking home alone after fishing one day when this incident took place. He goes on to write the following. So I get to my road and I'm about to turn and I didn't notice I was being followed by a beige colored pickup with this Cletus looking guy from the Simpsons in it. He greets me and tells me that my mom and dad are waiting for us at this local restaurant, which I knew immediately. I thought of what my mom said, and I started getting this unsettling feeling like I was in danger. So I told him that my parents have a password that they give their friends which they're required to tell me, at which point he got mad and started swearing at me. I didn't see one, but I was certain he had a gun as he started fumbling in the truck. I turned and started piddling down my road, screaming for help and that I was in danger. He jerked his truck to follow, but I was making too much noise, and I was already at my house. He took off. When I got home, my mom was home and I was hysterical and asked her why she would ask such a mean friend to pick me up, and I told her what happened. She calmed down. A few days later, a friend of hers told her a similar story about her son in another part of town. The cops came and talked to me, and I gave them the description of the man. The guy may never have been caught. Number 8. Followed. Park Tides posted a story about a gym goer who follows her around. After noticing him staying longer than usual, she drove away and saw him parked in his car. She ignored it and went to the grocery store, only to find him again parked a few stalls away. Circle my parking lot three times. In a situation where you feel followed, avoid driving straight home, especially if you live alone. Instead, drive to the police station. Number 7. The old lady has been submitted by Crybaby567. During a shopping trip, my sister and friend were driving home on a back road in a larger city. As they approached a small curve, an SUV or minivan stopped blocking both lanes elderly woman exited the car and approached my car. She asked for help putting her car in gear. Number 6. Tuba to last. User Summer 2502. Our story is dubbed Too Good to be True. The other day at work, we were basically told to look out for ourselves and others, wait for a security guard, etc. Now, this was a normal thing for the suburb we live in, but it was still a bit strange. Well, my friend told me why. The friend and co-worker finished up at around 12 that morning and was approached by this guy when he was at his car. The guy looked pretty normal, trackies on and all, and gave him an envelope claiming there were free fringe tickets inside. Side note for clarification. Fringe is an art festival like music, comedy, dancing, that sort of thing. There was some sort of white powder on the ticket though, but he just assumed it was a certain illicit substance or something, again, not uncommon in this area, so just grabbed it planning to throw it out later because it was probably counterfeit. His mates came out around 12.15 to see him with something like burns on his hands where he touched the powder and felt like he was burning on the inside and couldn't breathe properly. Luckily, he was still conscious and told them to take him to the hospital, which luckily wasn't that far away. They got there and practically everyone that came into contact with him felt like they were burning under their skin and were all having breathing difficulties. Within minutes, they had to call hazmat and everyone was decontaminated. Luckily, everyone was okay. Number 5. You look good. The next story you look good comes from RD user safe one c at 6.30 p.m. As usual, I went for a run after eating and nothing went wrong. During a run, I was alone except for a few people walking their dogs. Suddenly, I received an airdrop notification on my phone. I opened it and was surprised to see a Snapchat photo of me running with the caption, you Lou. Instead of turning around, I ran toward the forest, which was surrounded by a fence to prevent children from entering unsupervised. I and my friends cut a hole in the fence and I quickly buried myself in the forest to escape. After hearing ruffling behind me, I jumped through the hole and made it to the fire station a few streets down. The last thing I heard before leaving the forest was an angry huff and metal meeting metal. I never ran in this forest again and I hope we never meet again. Number 4. Running to me. Page C123 5 months ago. 
I took the back roads to Glasgow instead of the motorway, using my Sadov. However, when the road ahead was closed, my Sadov took me on a narrow, creepy road with trash and glass. Despite feeling uneasy, I continued. When I stopped to change my Sadov route, I saw a man running towards my car with a manic look on his face. I nearly died, but I turned around and left quickly. I vowed to never take back roads again. Number 3. Nearly Kidnapped Submitted by Reddit user the bmovie 0 when I was young. While playing in my front yard with my sister and friend, a car pulled up to the curb and two adult women sat inside, smiling and asking for help finding their lost dog. My parents had never taught me about stranger danger, so I approached the car and asked what it looked like. Number 2. Stranger in my room A creepy scenario unfolds in a college town with six young girls in their 20s. Some of our housemates and boyfriends were drinking in our house, while two of them went to a bar about 1 o'clock am. The two girls came home from the bar and everyone was tired, so we all went to our own respective rooms. Later in the night, I was awoken by someone opening my door and standing in my room staring at me. In my head, I thought that it was one of my roommate's boyfriends trying to see if my boyfriend and I were still awake to continue to party. Since I was tired, I pretended to be asleep to avoid being bugged. After a bit, the person closes my door and proceeds to pace back and forth in the hallway. They then begin to attempt to open my roommate's door, whose room is next to mine. Luckily, her door was locked and she also had her boyfriend with her. The person then proceeds to go into our utensils drawer and grabs a blade to attempt to pick her lock. Her boyfriend shouts, with a fizz that, which startles the man. And then he sprints up the stairs and out the door. The police were called and did a search and obviously didn't find anything. What makes this whole scenario creepier is that he didn't steal anything, my phone and $600 shoes were untouched. We also suspect that this person was not on anything, as he moved very quietly and deliberately. He was able to get in because the two girls who came home from the bar did not lock the door behind them. Yeah, folks, always lock your doors at night and during the day too. I mean, hell, finally, we have a story. Number 1. The Gas Station From optimistic avocado redditor in the past, I worked at a little local gas station, starting my shift at 6 o'clock am. As we opened the building with my best friend slash co-worker, I noticed a handprint on the back window and smudges around the handle, indicating someone was trying to slide it open. We were alarmed and searched for other entrances. The store opened at 600 am on a Sunday, despite the store opening at 5 o'clock am during a motion capture, a man with black arms attempted to enter. The store was alerted by police lights and the sheriff arrived quickly. The security footage confirmed the man was a man they arrested shortly after 5.30 am. Thanks for watching, kindly like and subscribe for more videos. In the comments section below, please tell me how many you discovered.